This video will show you what to do if your printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray when you do have paper loaded. Sometimes the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. First, make sure the printer is powered on. If it is off, press the power button. Next, turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, remove the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. If the printer does not turn on automatically, turn back to the front and press the power button to turn it on. Try printing a self-test page to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press and hold the OK button and then press the Help button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the self-test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the self-test page does not print, go on to the next step. Often, the condition of the paper you're using can cause paper not to feed correctly. Remove the paper from the input tray. Remove any damaged paper you find. Make sure there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets in the paper stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type, then tap it on a flat surface to get the edges perfectly aligned. Finally, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try to print a self-test page again to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press and hold the OK button and then press the Help button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the self-test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the self-test page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloths, clean cotton swabs, clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Remove the paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord. Remove the rear access door. To do this, we first need to locate the tab to unlock the rear access door. Squeeze the tab inward and pull out the rear access door. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller starting on the right side of the roller and wiping to the left. Use your finger to turn the rollers up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. Make sure you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. Look for the paper pick rollers farther inside the rear of the printer. Clean the rollers with a moistened cotton swab, removing any buildup or debris. These rollers are difficult to reach, but they are the most important to clean. If these rollers inside the printer are not cleaned, this problem will continue because these are the rollers that feed the paper into the printer.
While the rear access door is off, check the hard plastic rollers. Note if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could prevent rollers from feeding properly and mean that the rear access door needs to be replaced. Reattach the rear access door. While squeezing the release latch in the middle of the door, gently push the door into the rear access area until it snaps into place. Reconnect the power cord. Go back to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try to print a self-test page again to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press and hold the OK button and then press the Help button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the self-test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the self-test page does not print, try printing it again. Listen for the rubber, paper pick rollers. You should be able to hear them rotating. Then, try slowly pushing the paper farther in until the roller engages to pick up the paper. Be careful not to push the paper in too far, which can cause paper jams. If the self-test page does not print when slowly pushing the paper farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step and service the printer. If the self-test page prints when slowly pushing the paper farther in, try printing the original document again. The paper might not have been loaded far enough into the printer. If the issue is resolved, there is no need to continue troubleshooting. If the paper only feeds through the printer when you slowly push it farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step and service the printer. Next, we'll make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you're trying to use. On your computer, open a document in the program you're printing from. On your keyboard, press Ctrl-P to bring up the Printing Properties window. Click Properties. When the Properties box opens, click the Features tab. Select the Paper Type drop-down menu. Click More, and then choose the appropriate paper type. Click OK to confirm the paper type you selected. Select the Size drop-down menu. Click More, and choose the appropriate paper size. Press OK to confirm the paper size you selected. Click OK at the bottom of the Properties box. Click OK again to print the document. If the document prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the document does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.